Gold has been on the rise today, rebounding from a steep decline across precious metals in the previous session amid investor hopes possibly that the U.S. Federal Reserve will cut interest rates to cushion the impact of the fast-spreading coronavirus. What should investors know about traditionally safe haven assets? Gerhard Schubert is founder of Schubert Commodities Consultancy, DMCC, and he is with us here in the studio. Gerhard, great to see you again. Thanks for coming back into the studio. Um, so Friday's market sell-off in the commodities, particularly gold, was that a surprise for you? First, thank you very much, Greg, for having me. And uh, Friday's market uh, sell-off, I would be lying if I said I expected this. Uh, f the gold price came under pressure due to the fact that a lot of margin calls with the uh, slump of the equities, global equities, markets and uh, gold was sold for to allow customers and, class, and and clients to fulfill their margin calls, margin call requirements, and uh, the big surprise was the relentless pressure from the moment it opened in the morning until nearly 11 o'clock at night when New York closed. It was relentless pressure, and it resulted obviously in a in a drop of the gold price, which we haven't seen since 2013. Saying that, it was a one-off. Now, what approach do you think should investors be taking at the moment uh, concerning precious metals? First, gold has done exactly what it was supposed to do. In time of crisis, it is a liquidity manager and it provided liquidity for the long holder of gold to liquidate it. So, but having said that, the upside is by far the most interesting side and we have seen this before in 2008-9 and also in 2013 after the slump then also prices start to react also to the upside quite quickly and i do believe 1750 1800 within the next three months is to is achievable providing also some of the drivers are still intact and uh, the global economy and this could help also the global economy. Now, the last time you were with us, Gerhard, you were talking about palladium and how well it, you thought it was going to do. And last year, it really did well. It uh, went up 60%. Um, you know, is it still something investors should be looking at? In my opinion, the market has done what it was supposed to do. I don't think that this is the time to get back into palladium at these prices. First of all, palladium and platinum are really an industrial precious metals, most notably used for the car industry for exhausts. And palladium, the rise is very clearly also has gone uh, against platinum, which is most, or the bigger platinum loading in car exhaust is used in diesel engines, and palladium, a higher loading, is used for petrol engines. And this explains also the mismatch between platinum and palladium. But I think at this moment in time, I wouldn't invest any more in palladium. Okay, so That's what, done. what advice then would you give for uh, investors at the moment when they're looking at precious metals? And when we look at precious metals, metal, the disappointing bit is neither gold or palladium, they were positive, is silver. Silver is uh, really lagging behind significantly, but the reason is because the coronavirus, the global stock market, the economy is a gold move. And I would strongly suggest to hold 10, maybe up to 15% of a portfolio in gold, in physical gold. I would, I would prefer significantly physical gold against other gold ETFs, definitely not ETNs because they're backed by nothings. Uh, but physical gold, and Dubai is the center of physical gold. All right, we'll leave it there, Gerhard Schubert. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Greg.